guys welcome back back again with another video i'm somewhat coming up with a schedule so like bear with me i don't want to say what my schedule is i don't want to like jinx myself so i'm trying to just like do it and hopefully you guys maybe like catch on to the rhythm and hopefully the schedule lasts um you know it's kind of hard sometimes filming when you still have a child and stuff so let's jump straight into the video so as you guys know this is like my vanity area early apologies this is going to look crazy this is this whole counter is going to look crazy and it's because i'm trying to reorganize my um vanity i actually only have and this will be a part of the tour um vanity tour i'm trying to see if i want to purchase another alex dresser to put on the other side of the vanity because i only have two legs or if i just want to keep this only dresser and that's about it so today i well a few days ago i saw this eye look it was on instagram color pop reposted it um, a young lady that I look with like a blue in the inner corner, brown in the outer corner, and somewhat of like, not like a mattish, matte, clearish tone, but it wasn't as a, like a, a bright, I don't know. You guys, I'm going to insert either put the picture in the video or the picture will be in the, um, the, uh, intro, like as far as like it'll be on the thumbnail. That's what I mean to say. So I'm back, looking like a you know Mr. Potato Head. I have my brows, my eye primer on, and my primer on, and we're gonna jump straight into the eye look. So everything else will be sped up. We're just mainly focusing on the eye look today. So I purchased this palette. This is the Elsa palette with ColourPop. Um, this was the Frozen Two collection. I purchased this palette because I actually have the Anna palette that I really like. That's good for fall. And I wanted to try out this, I'm not gonna lie, another early apology for my son in the background. I'm gonna put like, I wanna find like a meme or something that has like baby on board, like before you guys watch the video, just so you guys kind of know like there is a baby somewhere always close by. But um, anyway, I was kind of sold on this color. Now this collection is old. This collection came out um, almost a year now. I think November or December of this year will make a year. So, um. Yeah, I was really sold with this blue, and um, I think that's really what sold me. I'm not going to lie to you. I really think it was just one color from the palette that sold me. I'm not going to hold you guys. So, we're going to jump straight into the look. I already used the um, Anastasia and LA Girl, LA Girl Concealer Anastasia Primer because I kind of want, I not that I kind I want this color to pop out, but I also... Um, I don't want the Anastasia to be too, too much of um, a white base. I want it to be somewhat of a natural, but still have a white tone base to it. So that's why I mixed them up. So first we're going to go in with, I want to take this color right here. This color is called Fire. I want to take this color and put this in the crease and um, start building it up in the crease. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush and just going to bend this. I'm blind. Blend this, blend this out. So this palette actually has a mirror, which is great. Cause I feel like we struggle to get a mirror with ColourPop. Um, this palette runs for fifteen dollars. I'm trying to think of what else to tell you guys. ColourPop, um, for the most part, does have a lot of fallout. I believe that's just how the products are made. Um. And you guys let me know if this angle works better or if this angle works better. I can always switch around. I can even just sit like this because this does have a mirror. So I don't mind facing you guys. So yeah, ColourPop does, um, they do have a lot of fallout. There's no secret there. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. And that's about it. I'm pretty sure this is a good palette. We're going to see. Um, I'm only prejudging it because I have a few ColourPop palettes that I really enjoy. And I feel like ColourPop cannot let anyone down. Is it weird to say that you can crave an eye look that like you see an eye look or you see an outfit look and you're like craving to like recreate it, whether it's to make it slightly different or like, I don't know. I like to 
look at other people give them the compliments you know give credit when due and just like sometimes they're just like inspiration um i guess you could say like inspirational like pictures or videos and stuff that make you want to re re um redo so I'm going to take this more precise brush just kind of like in round shape and I'm going to start to build in this blue shade this blue shade is called water ironic right water this blue shade as well has some kickback again So this blue color is um pretty pigmented you guys can see it's pretty pigmented but it is you have to build it up like in order to get it to show more you have to um definitely build it up and i'm doing more or less of a padding motion and bringing it more into like the crease but meeting it in like the halfway halfway point so this look that you guys are going to see is kind of like a halo but using two different two different using two different colors on the inner and outer i'm actually i don't know what just made me dip my finger in here and press it on myself but i think it's actually showing better when i do it this way versus how i was just doing it with the um brush actually shows up much better so i'm gonna use my i don't have a problem using my fingers um i use my fingers a lot of the time for the glitters so i don't have a problem with doing this so you guys the color showing a lot more with the finger so definitely you guys should don't discriminate your finger definitely use it and you know play around with makeup don't be afraid to get your hands dirty now i'm going to use the brush to kind of just blend it in with this um brown shade um as far as fallout i don't really see any fallout from the blue which is strange i'm curious if this blue is going to like stain my eyes i feel like the brown in the picture is a tad bit darker than this color um fire that i'm about to actually go back in with but maybe if i build it up it might look just as nice i'm going to pat it on the skin this might be too light I might have to yeah I might have to go in with a darker brown even though I feel like the brown she used here was pretty similar to this color and again you guys were seen in the picture all right guys so I'm back with the bare necessity um palette and I'm going to take I'm going to take this color, tabloid, tabloid, tab. You know, I'm not here to read to y'all, so I'm gonna pack this color on the um. Excuse the mess. I'm gonna pack this color on the outer corner. Now it looks like in the um, middle part where I would say like this would be like a halo, it looks like she um, she left it actually blank is what it looks like here. So I don't know um, if that's what I'm gonna do. Sometimes when you recreate these eye looks, you don't have to necessarily follow what someone else does. You can tweak it to make it your own so i don't know if i'm going to um i don't know if that's what i'm gonna do and you guys always remember blend 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 because i'm gonna go back 
and blend this brush probably has no more pigment on it because I believe the pigment it did have was fire which I might take a little bit of that and put that in the crease to kind of give this look some and you guys know if you have this palette these palettes or something similar take them out let's do a makeup together let's hang out let's talk to do the other eye as well i'm going to dip my finger in water and joke you get it dip my finger in water i'm funny So right now, I'm playing around with the browns to just kind of figure out what brown I want. I'm still sticking in between the um, Frozen palette and the Bare Necessity palette. They're both from ColourPop, so I'm still sticking in between. But I'm kind of like trying to fix the brown for mainly my complexion. So the artist that made the look, she is actually lighter than me. So maybe a lighter tone brown may work for her. Meanwhile, a lighter tone brown may not work for me, especially on my eyelids. So, so um, more towards the end of the video, I will give you guys my final review. But you guys can see this is how the eye look came out so far. Stick around and see what your girl's working with when she comes back. All right, guys. So I just filmed um, an outro to this video. For some reason, my sound isn't working. So let me do it over again. So this is the final look. Not exactly how her look is. I wish the blue was a little bit lighter. I'm going to keep this outro nice and short. Um, if you guys are looking to purchase this palette, from 1 to 10, I will definitely give this palette about a 7 or 8. If you can find another palette that has beautiful blue colors in that could be used like towards December or so, definitely take oh definitely take a look um look out for those palettes for 15 dollars um i would probably pay 10 dollars for this not 15 um the honor palette the honor palette was much better um this palette could be used fall time um summer times well fall spring autumn like that kind of time for i would definitely like ooh, ooh, i'm always making a mess i was definitely i like the honor palette if i had to pick between which one the honor palette I chose the Elsa palette today only because I wanted to recreate an eye look. I do have a video using the Anna palette. You guys should take a look at that video. It's one of my first YouTube videos. I believe it was playing in pink or wearing pink, something of that sort. So you guys, you know, go down below, check it out. Um, and you guys rate my eye look from 1 to 10. How do you guys think I did? Especially compared to the um, inspiration look that will be either in a thumbnail or included in the video. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. I have so much more content to come. It's just about getting the time right. But I have so many more video ideas. And I cannot wait until you guys see what I have to offer. Um... And that's about it, guys. I will check in with you guys next time. You guys be safe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Catch y'all later. Thinking of her.